The year 2100, although it is four years after the year 2096, is still not a leap year. Why? And why do we even have a leap year? The Earth completes its revolution around the Sun in 365 days, and we call that a year. But to truly complete a revolution around the Sun, it takes a bit more than 365 days. It's 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 42 seconds. But for simplicity, we just round it off to 365 days. And here is when our calendar kicks in the Gregorian calendar made by Pope Gregory. It was designed to replace the early calendar, the Julian calendar, which did not accurately calculate the leap year. And it became off by 10 days to the actual cycle of Earth. But we'll talk about that later. So every year we take these five hours, 48 minutes and 45 seconds and put it to the side. And every four years, when these hours become 23 hours and 25 minutes, almost equal to a day, we put that day back in and we put it in the shortest month, that is February. And we call that a leap year. Now when we put that day back into the calendar every four years, we've added a bit too much. We added 24 hours when we were supposed to add 23 hours and 25 minutes. We added 35 extra minutes to the year. But we let it slide for the next 100 years. When these 35 extra minutes that we added every leap year become equal to a day in 100 years, we remove that day and that is why every century year is not a leap year. The year 1800 wasn't a leap year, the year 1900 wasn't a leap year, 2100 will not be a leap year for the same reason. But wait, the year 2000 was a leap year and it also was a century year. Well now when we removed the one day from the century year we actually removed a bit more than we were supposed to. Here is a neat little trick of our calendar. Every century year that is evenly divisible by 400 is a leap year and the year 2000 is divisible by 400. So that's why it was a leap year and not because it came four years after the last leap year that was 1996. And if all this sounds confusing to you, well, you're not alone. Let's make it a bit simple. A year is a leap year if it is evenly divisible by four. But it will not be a leap year if the year happens to be a century year. But if that century year is evenly divisible by 400, then that year will be a leap year. And that is why the year 2100 will not be a leap year and the year 2000 was a leap year. And that is how our current calendar, the Gregorian calendar works. Now let's talk about the earlier calendar, the Julian calendar. It did not account for the leap years correctly and it became 10 days off. And if we were using the same calendar now, it would have been 13 days off. So if you want to see what date today would have been if you were using the old Julian calendar, just subtract 13 from the current date and you will be living the way people lived before 1582. The year when the Gregorian calendar replaced the Julian calendar. Oh, and however, the Gregorian calendar is the most accurate calendar that we have ever used. It still has an error of 27 seconds. It adds 27 seconds more to every year. And after every 3,236 years, it is off by one day. Oh,